Hundreds of families around Clay County will likely be sending their children to different schools next year. The district is wrestling with overcrowding and is laying out its redistricting plan. For now, the top priority is relocating students from Oakleaf High School to Ridgeview High, followed by students in Lake Asbury and Middleburg. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live in Clay County with what parents need to know. Scott? Well, there's a lot going on, particularly with that Oakleaf transition, which is the first one. Hundreds of students will likely come here to Ridgeview High. I wanted to kind of describe, for instance, we'll show this Oakleaf Ridgeview dynamic. It's happening in other parts of the counties as well, but let's put these maps on the screen. The one on the left has a yellow border on it. This was put out by the school district. That's a chunk of land right now where all the students who live there go to Oakleaf. You look to the one on the right, it would all be transitioned into Ridgeview districting. That's why it's in the blue in would happen next year. This is one of many redistricting processes the district has to do. Let's start with a school that has the most critical need, Oakleaf High School. A few hundred students will be moved to Ridgeview High next year. In the following school year, Tynes Elementary in Middleburg and Lake Asbury Junior High will likely undergo similar changes offloading students to other schools. <laughs> My daughter's in Florida Virtual School because yeah. of the school system. Oh, really? It's just too crowded and they're not doing anything about it. Parents and former educators in Clay are not surprised by this. I substituted for a couple of years in Clay County and it was, the schools were large class sizes. You know, the classrooms were tight. There weren't enough seats and um, a lot of, all the trailers and all the, um, the mobile, you know, the mobile portables. trailers, the portables, they were all, it just seems they needed to put more and more portables. Check out these comments in the news for Clay County Facebook group. We really need another middle school. We are in Pine Ridge and zoned to Wilkinson, 25 minutes away when Oakleaf is only five minutes from our house. And build more schools. The area that Chatillon sits on has more than enough space. I spoke with Beth Clark on the Clay County School Board. This is not an easy thing. This is a hard thing for a district to go through. Oh, it? absolutely. I mean, we see St. John's go through it every year, but Clay hasn't done it in some time. And the big thing is we want to be proactive with, with our growth and not reactive. So we've got to be very careful. Families of students at Oakleaf High have already gotten letters that this is happening. If they're affected, the families who would be affected in uh, Middleburg and Lake Asbury, they would be getting their letters in coming weeks. And you can speak out on this because it's not a done deal. March 4th, the school district will be holding a workshop on this, and you can go and you can speak out. We're live in Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.